another question. Now here we have got some image also. At this image, what I can see is something related to burns. That means this question would be something related to burns. Let's read the last line of the question first. What is the most urgent action? Most urgent action in this patient. Okay, so this is a case of burns and most urgent he wants to know. Right. Now let's take a look at the question. This is a 35 year old emergency burns road traffic collision. So there is an accident. After that accident, there is a fire. Then his vehicle overturned and was caught up in the ensuing fire. There is evidence of facial burns and nasal signing. So you will be identifying the key words here. Facial burns, nasal signing. What is this nasal signing? This is simply naak ke baal jal jate hai. And whenever <coughs> we find something like this, that is injury to the mouth, injury to the face, neck area, that means the patient's airway would be compromised. So what we need to do in this patient, most urgent action that we should immediately take care of is airway. Because this patient will have the chances that he might, he might, so what would be happening? The injury will cause inflammation, rubber tumor, calla dollar, tumor is swelling, there will be swelling of the airway and if you don't take care of the airway now, then this patient may land up in laryngeal edema and then you will not be able to put the endotracheal tube. Also, if we take a look at the primary survey story, ABC is something which is going to be very crucial. Now let's take a look, has he given something related to airway in the option or not? Commence fluid replacement immediately. Yes, we know, we have to give the fluids, so we cannot rule this out. High suspicion of airway or inhalation injury clear the airway and consult the anesthetist for advice. So this, looking at the term nasal signing, I am focusing on this airway story. Measure the urine output. Yes, we have to measure the urine output because when we are pumping in fluids, then how much fluid has to be given to this patient though we calculate it by the ATRS or the Parkwood formula, but at the same time, we have to monitor this whether the amount of fluid which we are giving is right or wrong. So that is measured by urine output and the adequate urine output is more than 0.5 ml per kg per hour for an adult. However, in cases of children, we consider it as 1 ml per kg per hour and in an infant, we consider it as uh, more than 2 ml per kg per hour. But that will come once we have started giving the fluids. Make a secondary assessment of the burn wound, accurately assessing percentage and depth. Yes, that is also something which we need to do. That means whatever is written in this question, in these options, everything is required. But how we approach, what is the sequence? If you focus on the sequence A, B, C, this is the primary survey. The burn wound story comes in the secondary survey. Okay. So if you sequence this A, B, C, T, this should be the sequence. Now, the same type of question can be there on 4th of December also. And they might suppose delete this B option and they give something else. May not be related to airway. And suppose you have to choose between A, C and D. Then your sequence will be A, C followed by D. <coughs> Right, so this is how we need to approach such type of questions. I hope this is absolutely clear. You have done the sequencing also in this. All four are required, but that has to be in the sequence. And he is asking what is most urgent, right? So the correct answer would be taking care of the airway or inhalation. 